Alrighty, hello everyone, and welcome. My name is Macaque 209 and today we're going to be playing some Resident Evil Resistance. And, well, in a weird way, it's based, er, not really in a weird way, but. Wait, first of all, I just want to say, uh, I apologize for the really big delay I think we're like a half hour late or so um well anyway first of all I apologize I uh, pretty much fell asleep and I couldn't really get up for a bit um, so I just wanna clear you guys on that no nothing's like you know serious or anything but uh, hope you guys understand that because you know I was really tired last night and I didn't get to fall asleep until like 3 in the morning uh, uh, so yeah <sighs> as you can hear me yawn right there wait wait uh, yeah Let's go ahead and play some Resident Evil Resistance. Actually, right before we'll start, we're going to customize a few things. I don't really think I need efficiency mod traps. Now I think about it. We we'll use efficiency mod for creatures. <coughs> actually, no, we're not even going to use that, actually. an air cannon I'm actually gonna change the normal landmine as well I wish I can like swap a couple of things here but it's fine pretty much uh Trying to think on what else I can put in here. Because I want to kind of make something that's slightly overwhelming, but at the same time, uh, more. Thank you. 
We have Creature Energy Booster. We're gonna use Crawling Zombie, or we're not gonna use Crawling Zombie. Uh, let's see. We will use. I'm trying to think of what we can use as well. We're gonna use the mobilizing rounds. Um, actually, okay, I have a weird, or not a mobilizing machine. We're gonna use machine gun, actually. Hold on, we're gonna switch out tough zombie infectious. Go for a liquor. And then we're actually gonna go to the gun here, uh, firearm section. And we'll use Enhancer Infection. <sighs> Actually, wait, let me. I have an idea. Excuse me. Um, let's see. We'll use. Wait, why do we? Oh, yeah, I wanted uh, traps. That's what it is. Okay. And maybe we don't need air cannon. Now I think about it. Yeah, we, I don't think we'll need air cannon here then. Um, no, we'll, we'll go with the normal uh, infectious zombie, I would say. Alright, let's change this a little bit. go with electric cable one okay we are uh, let's see we also are gonna be using mechanic by the way and virus mine epidemic is actually gonna be pretty good too actually if we're gonna be using in a normal infectious zombie, well, I don't think we'll be needing the infection round. I'd say we'll use... I'm thinking of mobilizing, but I'm also thinking air cannon. 
just don't know which one I should use. I guess we'll go with immobilizing. Let's go ahead and test this out, pretty much, and let's see what, uh, pretty much what we can do with, like, you know, the environment and traps and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure if, if I'm thinking about this right, it sh we should be able to interact with things instantly, like, just by pressing the button instead of holding it. At least with Alex. I will claim the power that is rightfully mine, and your suffering will assist me. Ooh, it's off by a little bit. Stay alive, my cute guinea pig. Okay, so we and let might... me study your fear here just a little longer. Okay, so we might have to go to, uh... Alright. Yeah, so it looks like we might have to... is excellent These traps are excellent. <coughs> but doors and stuff we're gonna have to uh put a moderate, moderate uh, the bliss of murder the relief the soaring ecstasy of shedding another's blood even the perfect seed will never grow. And so too my beautiful research was wasted in your pitiful blood. So those are pretty much instant. As expected, your death was underwhelming. The others will be more interesting. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay, it is instant. Okay. I think. Okay, I just. I think I just realized that we didn't even have this out in our hand until like. Disappointment could be a variable in the sorry for not of the virus. It How do you feel? Bit, but... I just barely woke up, so just hopefully you guys understand that. Oh yeah, that was like yeah. okay. Yeah, we're fine. Wonderful. This is my domain. I control where you can or can't go. Now run through this maze for me. 
Even with low expectations, I'm disappointed in you. I barely learned anything here. Interesting. I have a theory. Now do that again. feel free now, but one day you may awaken to find that you have transformed. I think we might have something here. Customize it just a bit more just in case. Uh, let's see. Honestly, I think this is just fine. Yeah, I, th I think we'll, we'll probably use that. <clears throat> Alrighty, let's go ahead and uh, get into an actual match here. Let's see what map map we have. Abandoned? Okay, this will work. <coughs> um, yeah, this will work. Yep. Great. <laughs> Gotta love that, right? We ready up and nope. Person had to leave. I don't know why. Go ahead and try this again. Uh, let's see. Okay, we have miniature reactor, which is really going to be beneficial for us. <coughs> I think we'll just go with steel pressure plate three instead of three and two. So let's customize that a little bit. And let's see. Damn it, there was something I just thought of and I'm already. <coughs> having a bit of a brain fart here. Um, we're gonna go with uh, Vet's processor. 
<clears throat> Damn it. Alright, here we go. And of course they have a Martin. Alright, so they have a rank 2 Valerie, a rank 40 Martin, rank 29 Jill, and a rank 7 January. <clears throat> Okay, this is going to be kind of bad, you guys, because this Martin might know what we're trying to do. <clears throat> I think I've gone against this mobster guy before. I think I have. Prepare to face three challenges. Not two, not four, but three. It will always be three. Oh, my friends. The cage has found you. Something more surgical. Open session. This will suffice. Door's always in the way. I'm surprised it took you that long to find. I made that one easy for you. No way through here. Locked. Well, here goes any hope I had of getting this past the Research Ethics Committee. a variable in the efficacy of the virus. How do you feel? <laughs> this data is excellent! Uh, that didn't work. What? Wait, oh, Martin's down! What the fuck? Oh, hell yeah. Stay alive, my cute guinea pigs, and let me study your fear here just a little. Even with low expectations, I am disappointed in you. I barely learned anything here. Door locked. Oh, that was perfect. If you do not hurry, I will be forced to conclude the test early. Data is intriguing. What? You will wow, never this... escape like this. I have everything I need. I have everything I need. Except your death. Oh my goodness. 
the mark a victory in name got killed but my research is incomplete we're trying to get Let the final key study again wow okay this martin did not know how to do anything with traps like wow all right all right Ooh, looks like we have something ready for the shop i think we have um uh, enough points for it the uh for the cosmetic chest i think that's what it is so let's go ahead and open that and let's see what we get here blue magic scepter for a sledgehammer okay let's see what that is it sounds amazing but let's just see uh what it actually is Weapon skins, sledgehammer. God dang it! <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Well, I know who I should give it to. Gotta give it to Valerie. She could use it just fine. <laughs> you know what, fuck it, we'll also give it to Jan. Whoops, I went the wrong way there. Who else should we give it to? You know what? Give it to Martin. Martin needs it. Fucking nerd. Wait, anyway, wait, um... You know what? Fuck it. Let's also give it to the man here. Let's all give it to Dairon. Alright, uh, let's see, we're gonna change a little bit of our map preset here, um, just trying to remember which, oh no, it's not this one, okay, hold on. What map did I not finish? Oh, okay, I think I didn't finish Casino, I think that's what it was, yep, okay. <coughs> Go ahead and go to Creatures and Traps. Uh, let's see. Try and think on what else we can put in this deck. Oh, you know what? I know, or not in the deck, but to do a setup for us. <clears throat> yeah, we'll do another high explosive landmine. We'll do a tracker mine. Uh, let's see. The tracker. No, that's high explosive. Okay. We're actually gonna move this over here more. <coughs> ah, damn. All right. We should be good here for that. Lock, lock down traps.
second. We're actually gonna go double liquor here. All right. Tracker mine right before they get the key here. So I'm going to go ahead and leave those two doors open. <clears throat> so they go through the main door, pretty much one of the main doors right there. I'll close that off. Then they'll pretty much be trapped in the room here. Liquors can attack. I'll probably spawn an infectious zombie as well, to so I can be make the liquors infected. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wait, anyway, wait. I'll definitely do that, and then. Hopefully we can do a lot of uh, damage there right off the start. All right, let's go to research facility. Let's see what we have here. Okay. <coughs> We have a lot of lockdown traps, so... This one over in here, and then I'm going to remove this one. Trying to think on what else we can do here. Um, okay, this one here we'll remove as well. All right, and then we're gonna go with a. We're gonna go with an infectious zombie. All right. So I'm gonna put him right here. <coughs> and then we'll get a tracker mine and put it right about here. And we should be fine. Or actually, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, let's let's go with that. Hold on a sec, everyone. I'll be right back.
Okay, we're back once again. Uh, let's go ahead and start this up. I Right now, I'm just making me some food. And it'll be pretty much ready in a couple minutes. So <clears throat> That's why I'm having the little break right there uh, pretty soon. Like, I'm just starting to wake up. But I'm still, like, between complete wake completely waking up and still tired <laughs> so I'm like right in that middle border area <clears throat> excuse me well, wait let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna pretty much just work around what we have here um, let's see puzzle pieces uh, <clears throat> We're going to put one of the puzzle pieces over here. I think we'll put this one like right here. Actually, no. We'll put it right about right here, right here. <coughs> All right, so now let's go to creatures and traps. We'll put a trap. We'll move the tracker mine. All right, we're gonna move it. If I can slightly inch it, there we go. That's pretty much where we want it, right there. Well, what the hell? Okay, my right stick is starting to get a little stuck. Uh, let's move the liquors a bit, so I'm gonna move... <clears throat> let's move them both right here. Or actually, let's move one... ...over here. <clears throat> and one right there. These two liquors here are going to be our one of our key, pretty much, of not only securing, um, pretty much our key here, but <clears throat> excuse me. But they're also going to be helping us in. Here, I'm going to move the bat. Or no, I'm going to keep the bathroom one. I'm just going to move the third puzzle piece over here. Alright, that should be fine, in my opinion. Um, yeah, that should be fine. <coughs> okay, as for area two, um, let's see, I'm gonna move the tracker mine up a bit where it's inside that dead body. I can't really, I think it's like right around this area here is where that dead body is. Somewhere around there. Wait, wait. I'm gonna move this liquor over here back this way more. And then I'm gonna move this liquor back more as well. <clears throat> I 
I wish I could like understand like the the way that things are like I just wish they had like a little like chart in a way to where it can show me which direction it should be facing but it I don't there's not really a chart for that Oh, okay. I think I understand now. Okay, they have the skulls pointing the way they're going to be looking at. Okay. So the jawline of... Okay, that makes more sense. Alright. Let me go back over here then. I have them facing backwards. Great. Okay, that should be good. Okay, yeah. Alright. Yeah, we're good here now. <clears throat> I should really turn off my notifications. But... It's whatever. Okay, we should be good there. <coughs> so let's go ahead and start a matchup. And we'll see uh, how this works. Alright, I'm back everyone. 
Uh, let's see what we at. Uh, research? Um, let's see. Let's go with Nikolai. I, er. Actually, no, let's just keep trying. Let's just keep going as Alex, actually. Or actually. Hmm. Now nah, let's go as Nikolai. Okay, we got a January, a Valerie, a Jill, and a Samuel. <coughs> Looking at you all, this will be easy money. My little toy, <laughs> but do not expect to activate it so easily. That was too easy. Do not be pleased with yourself. You have a key. I doubt you will live to use it. <laughs> you should not be able to. Ah, oh, great. I hate her for that. There, you should not be able to do that. Change my mind. It's myself. You found that? <laughs> what amateur put it there? So many made it this far. So unacceptable. That's actually really good right now. <clears throat> Damn it, excuse me. Well done. No matter. Your luck will end. 
Okay, we got creatures here. We'll use that. <coughs> I'll just spawn him right over here. We'll go ahead and move you right here. Now we shall end this. Jen, I'm not even gonna lie, that was a waste. You will not escape. I will still find you. It would you. not let me move it at all. Okay. Yorick, what are you doing? No, no. Bad. Bad Yorick. With this strength, I will end you. Get it over with. Stop resisting. Okay, good Yorick. That, that was actually not bad. Oh, that's that's the that's some big boy stuff right there. Just as easy as next place. Perhaps you will not be mourned as a flag. This is not your lucky day. Let's go, everybody. Let's go right there. No, Alrighty, good. this guy, these, this team here did not enough. know what to do after all that. <laughs> as soon as Jen went down by Yorick, that was just the perfect time to just unleash everything there. And, wow, 5 minutes 28 seconds everyone, 5 minutes 28 seconds. It wasn't like our best time, but it's definitely like top 3, I think. Because our best time literally literally was like 3 minutes and I think it was like 46 seconds. I'm not really mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, and that was area 1. And that was in, um, I'm trying to think on what map it was. I think it was abandoned, no, was it abandoned park? Or, no, 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 it was downtown. It was downtown. And I was also using Nikolai, and just basically gun, 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 just gunning them down while doing all that type of damage and stuff. It was just amazing. And then they never even got all the keys <coughs> in the uh, for the first area. They only, I think they only got two, if that. But, well, anyway, um, as I was saying here, um, yeah, that has to be, like, one of my, like, top three quickest matches there. Like, that was, like, five minutes and something right there. So, and then, literally, I had a game that was under five minutes to where it was literally, like, I think it was, like, two seconds under five minutes. So, it was, like, oh, wait, was it two seconds or was it? Yeah, it was like 4 minutes and 58 seconds, and what happened there was I squad wiped a team with 3 Liquors and Mr. X on the Casino in Area 2. Like, they just barely got past Area 1, and so I literally just squad wiped every single one of them. They were all just right at the uh, armory box, you know, getting their stuff and everything. <coughs> and apparently they couldn't exit out early, uh, 
early enough and they got decimated by three liquors and Mr. X and I just started punching the holy heck out of them. You know what? What am I doing? Holy hell out of them. And just going left jab, right jab, left jab, right jab, left jab, right jab. And then I see uh, three of them go down and I knock down another one and oh it was just amazing and I'm just like so excited I'm just like yes I fucking wiped them and then literally the t the timer as soon as they all died was like negative uh, 1 minute and 11 seconds I'm just like damn I can't believe I did all that Wait, anyway, um, we're gonna go to the customization real quick and let's see what we have here. Uh, trying to think on what exactly should I use. You know what? I don't think I'll be using generator mod small now. But what I will use is efficiency mod firearms. So this will pretty much lower the cost of my firearm cards by one. Alright. And so I don't really need to use firearms for air cannon now. Or immobilizing rounds. Because otherwise that would be a waste. So I, But I will use it for machine gun though. <clears throat> because I could easily make a machine gun... Uh, I believe I can make it at a one with this type of build here. Yeah. Okay, because energy booster firearms makes it to where firearm cards cost two less. So two and then one. That's three. So there you go. Do the math. So machine gun, it'll do one. Mobilizing rounds will be one. Air cannon will be one. That's pretty much how this is going to work here. Oh, excuse me. Ugh. Why the hell am I getting all gassy? Holy shit. <clears throat> well, anyway. Uh, we have Fuse 3 and Fuse 1. That'll pretty much help us with uh, our durability for our cams. I'm thinking about switching it up a little bit. No, actually, we should be fine. Uh, okay, so minus three, so high caliber rifle will be three points, turret machine gun will be three points. Uh, let's see, what else? Ugh. Damn, excuse me. Uh, we just got a new spray, so let's see what that looks. Oh, it's, is it graffiti? Yeah, okay, we got a new graffiti, which is Nikolai. I wonder what that's for. Oh, it's hit hitting level 35. Okay. <clears throat> that makes more sense now. I think I'm almost there with a net, if I think about it. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm just like five levels short with a net. I do need to level up Alex and Daniel more, but I feel like they're only good on certain maps, though. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, well, anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and continue on. We should be good here, pretty much. So, let's go ahead and uh, do some more matches here. 
I'm gonna try to eat something at least and get some water in. Yeah, I'm not drinking like normal water by the way, um, the only waters that I would actually drink are uh, Arrowhead and uh, Body Armor, sports water. Those are the pretty much the only two waters that I will actually drink. Unless it's like, uh, unless it's, you know, like I'm sucking a wild or something and it's like, mountain water or something then I'll be I'll be okay with that uh, let's go with Nikolai again you guys I think Nikolai has been very useful for us here uh, actually you know what maybe Alex no, let's go Alex yeah no Nikolai we'll go Nikolai like downtown I feel like Nikolai Spencer and I think Annette are actually really good here um for downtown Alex I don't want to say she is useful but she's not really up there either so there's that and then with Daniel like he's not bad in the beginning or in area 2 but it's just area 3 I feel like Daniel falls off so that's one thing I really don't like about using Daniel on downtown. I feel like his in area three he falls off for downtown. Now if it's casino, Daniel is a monster in casino. Um so looking at you all. This that. will be easy money. Alright, let me lock some doors, do all this. Uh, we'll use that. You found that? <laughs> what amateur put it there? What? That miss? No. No, you don't. The Stop door that. is locked. And the seconds of your life tick away. This device may not kill you, but you may die while searching for a way of activating it. What? Happy with the fear you feel. Be afraid, young ones. <coughs> no problem. I will make. 
make this faster for you. Ah, they made it. It's whatever, though. We did a lot of damage, so it's fine. <laughs> this? This is fine. Oh shit, we need to move Yorick. Now we shall end this. Stop resisting! I did. I guess my stuff is invalid. Valerie, you can't do that. No, Valerie, no. Do not rush the horse. You have plenty of time. Sam! Samson! <laughs> it's dead. Again. <laughs> no problem. Take his card. I have a good plan ahead. <laughs> Let me put a bullet in your skull. It will be over faster. No, you can't enter.
<laughs> no, I shall end this. Oh, and Valerie has the key. Stay Valerie a while. Down. There's plenty of time. <laughs> Now. You can die here just as easy as next place. <laughs> <laughs> this is not your Yes, that is how you end it, boys. No pain. And Hold on a second, I'll be right back. Ah, no kill bonus. But a win is a win.
Alrighty, sorry about that you guys, I'm back. And let's keep playing now. <clears throat> so yeah, I cannot believe this team didn't get to make it past area two. Like, I'm actually pretty surprised on that. Like, they were literally getting overran by two liquors and a infected tough zombie in area two in the long office room. Like, I could not believe that. Um, I wish I could see, like, more of the details in the maps and stuff. Alright, well, anyway, speaking of that, I'm going to customize, uh, <clears throat> downtown a little bit. Area 2, I'm going to, uh, try to do something about. I'm going to move the tracker mine about. I think it's about here I want to move in. I'd like to say it's about there, but I'm not quite 100% on that. Until we actually go into Area 2 and find out. <clears throat> so, I'm going to try to do that. Alright, let's go into a cust a uh, practice match real quick. And, whoops, preset one, extend, okay, there we go. I'm gonna use Nikolai. Ready up. Like, honestly, so far, this build's actually not bad that I have. Like, it, it just works for me. Um,. The only thing that'll actually counter this really hard is Jan and Jill with Matildas with EMP rounds. Um, pretty wait, pretty much just that, really. That's like the one thing that'll really counter this. I provide great assurances to my clients. You will fear, and you will die. <laughs> My client will be happy with the fear you feel. Be afraid, young ones. He's in the body. Not really. Okay, so I need to move it up more, I think, right? Wait, what? In the body? I can't tell if it's in it or some company for you. Let me slip into something more comfortable, okay? Oh, it's on the what the fuck? Why is it on the body? Come out and play. My kind of weapon, yes! Just die! Friend die. I hear only sound of money. You will not escape.
death walks with you. Everything I need. As they say, without torture, there is no science. Perhaps you will not be mourned as a friend, but I will make sure they run, run if you can. Death does not take the oath, but the right. This was inevitable. But somehow, I expected more from you. Ah, the old-fashioned weapons. They are the best. This was your end. I cannot say it was good. No need to kill you one shot. Client pays for your pain. Not only death. Be happy you do not have the shame of being the first to die. My bank account, thanks. It's possible. <laughs> This was your end. I cannot say it was good. Death walks with you. This was inevitable. But somehow I expected more from you. Be happy you did not have the shame of being the first to die. You hear friend die. I hear only sound of money.
Get it over with. Stop resisting. <laughs> this is mine. Perhaps you will not be mourned as a friend. But I will stand still, and I will end the pain for you! My bank account thanks you. Spasiba. <laughs> This was inevitable, but somehow I expected more from you. Just die! You hear friend die. I hear the only sound of money. Let me do this myself. This was your end. I cannot say it was good. <laughs> you do not stand a chance. My bank account thanks you. Spasi. <laughs> I will make this faster for you. <laughs> Be happy you did not have the shame of being the first to die. As they say, without torture, there is no science. Perhaps you will not be mourned as a friend, but I will make sure they feel the loss of your strength. Death does not take the oath, but the right. <laughs> now I shall end this.
Come closer. Nightland wishes to learn from your suffering. Keep running. <coughs> you do not want So yeah, this this build here is actually not bad. So pretty much this is a, a really good combo here, all of this right here. Uh, as for the equipment, I mean this is not bad either, which we have miniature reactor that will help us speed up our, um, our bio energy uh, recharge speed. It will help us uh, pretty much recharge it more. Uh, we have Fuse 3 and Fuse 1, that'll help our durability for our cameras, whenever we're actually going to be using them for, um, wow, I'm trying to think already, for uh, like our turrets or our guns or things like that, so there'll be a lot. <sighs> uh, excuse me, there'll be a lot, um, they'll be a bit more difficult to take out. The only thing I know that will actually take them out are Jan and Jill players, and literally a Jill's ult can still easily one hit it. <clears throat> so this is pretty much the deck here that I've made. I made a couple of different adjustments, like with the efficiency mod, I, I did you uh, before this, I did use generator mod small just so I can get more bioenergy. But I feel like it was just a little bit lacking in the firearms area, so this time I was I tried out efficiency mod for firearms, and this is actually working really well for me now. Like I feel like I have a really good balance here of like the guns, the tr the creatures, um, and some other stuff as well to help me kind of. Uh, be more. How, how do I want to explain this? Be more um, dominant with Nikolai. I feel like this is actually a really good setup here, with what we have. Like we could, in a way, replace machine gun with turret, um, uh, turret rifle. But I feel like the AI on turret rifle is not that great, so. We're just not gonna even gonna use that. The only turrets we're g actually gonna be using are in area two and three, which is a high cal turret in area two, and then a turret machine gun in area three. Now, if they actually do get to area three, it's gonna be a bit difficult for them to try to get through because I can lower the car the firearms cost by three right now because of the efficiency mod firearms which gives me one less point on firearm cards and then I have energy booster for firearms which makes uh, which makes firearm cards cost two less so that's three right there <sighs> uh, excuse me anyway so basically I can just make a normal machine gun one point and then 
I can also make a uh, high cal turret rifle into three points instead of the normal six and I can make a uh, turret machine gun into three points as well now I could change firearm spe uh, mag expansion for firearm efficiency but I feel like mag expansion is just way more worth right now at least uh, instead of fi uh, firearm efficiency only because with mag expansion not only you're increasing the duration of your turrets and your guns by an extra uh, 30 seconds I believe but you're also um, but you're also getting more ammunition in the ma in the uh, turrets as well. So with a machine gun, you'll have 50 normally. Uh, you're now having up to 80 on them. And so, and also with the high cal, I think it has like seven normally. I think it went up to. Oh no no no! I think it's I think normally it's like five. And it goes up to seven, it's it or maybe eight. I don't really remember. I don't. I don't really pay attention to the numbers that much. I really should though, but I sometimes I don't. But anyway, and then this is the best part though. That those are that's that's just the tip of the iceberg, if you will. It that's just like a small cherry on top. You know, it's not the actual banana split. You know, so. This is what it does for the air cannon and the immobilizing rounds, alright? It gives them one more shot. So literally, instead of just one shot for air cannon, you got two. And instead of one shot for immobilizing rounds, you got two. So literally, uh, you can just... Like, if you actually get a perfect chance to stun two people with immobilizing rounds that's amazing and then uh, and then if you wait for the other two to come by and then you can easily get them with it as well so these two weapons here all right these two firearms are very powerful with Nikolai and his kit all right now the one thing I do say that he his weaknesses is that it, he's just a cam guy most of the time. All right, like literally the creatures I have here, I have two of them. Okay, I have liquor and tough zombie infectious. Now the tough zombie infectious that's just to help me uh, make the survivors have infection. So they'll they'll be coughing, they'll be getting slowed uh, every now and then. It depends on how severe the infection is on them. And so even if if they are coughing and slowed already, I could use immobilizing rounds to stun them. Then I can go with tracking mine or maybe a machine gun or something, something in that nature like that. All right. Uh, now. I don't really need to use firearm if, uh, energy booster for immobilizing rounds or air cannon because they are going to be so cheap now. Like with air cannon, it's going to be one point if you have efficiency mod firearms in your hand. For immobilizing rounds, it's going to be two points. Which honestly, it honestly should be two points, but it's alright. Um, machine gun though. Uh, that is going to be th uh, one point <sighs> Would you have this in your hand and you use firearm uh, energy booster? So literally you're spending three points for a machine gun, which is really good Technically if you have this this and this in your hand uh like all together if you have this 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 and this in your hand you'll be only spending five which is actually pretty good um, 
but if you're if you're still a low level, I would still recommend firearm efficiency. And that'll pretty much just lower the cost of firearms by one more uh, for everything. So literally, this will be one point. This will be one point. Uh, this will be one point. Uh, you could use another firearm in this kit, I guess, if you want to. But I strongly feel like three is just good enough. Uh, the only thing I do like about having all all of that uh, for uh for all that is going to be your area 2 and 3 uh cards Ooh. so in your area 2 you have a choice between turret high cal rifle or radar pulse radar pulse you'll au you'll automatically have already and this will pretty much help you with your uh not only for tracking the survivors and make them take 20% extra damage to everything there but you can also use it to uh, for nemesis's uh, or yeah nemesis um, relentless all right because you're gonna still have relentless for a, quite a while uh, until you reach uh, rank 24 so if you're low, if you're pretty much a low level, don't worry about it. All right. Uh, radar pulse is actually really good for relentless because it tracks, and I think it lasts a little longer than a normal tracking, like no, like let's say a normal tracking mine or uh, even tracking rounds in general. I think I think it lasts a little longer. I could be mistaken, but I don't really know. Uh, but whenever you do get those high level high ranks up I highly recommend high cal rifle turret uh, for your area 2 and then for your area 3 you're gonna have a reinforced trap uh, I, I would say don't use it but unless they are gonna be going for like let's say if we are in downtown they're in already in area 3 and they're gonna go for the lift I would say try to place them in places to where you know that they'll be going to so definitely place them in high traffic areas all right same with creatures too high traffic areas for creatures uh that'll basically mean uh that well i'm actually zoning out a little bit holy, holy shit I'm, I'm sorry <sighs> Damn it. Wait, wait. It basically means that you'll be backing up the survivors pretty pretty hard and making them do more be more defensive instead of offensive for their objectives that they have to do, which is a really good thing there. Uh but the only thing that's about reinforced leg hold trap and normal leg hold trap the only difference is that reinforced leg hold trap is a like it just lasts longer if you're caught in it I believe it it lasts as much as the immobilizing rounds before the nerf so two immobilizing rounds and if you remember that uh, it's it was a bit of a nightmare to get out of so and they actually made it a bit e uh, quite a bit easier actually to get out of but I believe you get turret machine gun at uh, rank 19 if I'm not mistaken but I don't really remember though uh, but turret machine gun is a godsend for Nikolai alright it's literally one of those clutch cards that Nikolai has all right so literally you can easily distract survivors with the turrets okay so let's say you put turret let's say you have high count and turret machine gun you could put them both uh, pretty much in certain flanks to where 
the survivors are going like one direction but they're getting shot at two different directions you can do that go to a different cam you can pro as soon as you get your nemesis out you can use it and then literally they have to worry about cams or turrets I mean and they have to worry about nemesis as well so you're literally giving you're literally becoming a one-man army right there with, with Nikolai so this is pretty much what I recommend it, I, I mostly recommend mag expansion just because of the increased ammo for air cannon and immobilizing rounds and the extra duration of I think 30 seconds if I remember right so literally you just set up a turret right there in a, in like a long L-shaped hall, 90 degree hallway and then set up another one like in uh, in, er in the area 2 of downtown like that'll be very efficient right there it'll be difficult for um, pretty much most survivors to get through the only thing that'll actually counter this really hard is a Jill that's using counter surveillance with EMP rounds and a Matilda along with Jan that's uh, using uh, what was her fucking uh, if passive skill I think it's called uh, high cal like high caliber or I think it's called high cal hold on let me check yeah, high caliber. If she has this on, okay, along with um, yeah, if she, as long as she has high caliber, along with um, EMP rounds and a Matilda, and her, both her and Jill are shooting at cams with Matildas. Uh, literally. I think one whole burst from both of them will knock out the cam or maybe two I don't know it depends if they are actually building EMP rounds though because if they are then they're gonna do a shit ton of damage to cam still and <coughs> oh, excuse me I mean, like I said, they're gonna do a shit ton of damage to your cams. Now, the way to counter that is by making sure that you have um, uh, electromagnetic shield. All right, that is the one thing that'll counter them, which is right here. This card is a savior, but at the same time, it actually just got nerfed. Like the duration for it, I think they got rid of like five seconds off of it or something like that if I remember right and it was in my opinion it wasn't really like overpowered it was just a little annoying sometimes but I don't think it needed to be nerfed because you can already because you could just use clone if you can and then use that afterwards you know like that's another thing about clone being so powerful even though it does make uh, cards cost one extra but it's just that good I, like literally I can just go change a deck right now and just make it like that almost so like let's say deck 2 okay we're gonna change deck 2 we're gonna change that and instead of hold on a second man. why is this stuff switched around like this hold on a sec Okay, here we go. Um, <clears throat> I 
Okay, here we go. So now, uh, if we have clone in here, what it what clone does is that it copies the last card that you use, but it increases the cost by one. So let's say you used um, actually let me change liquor actually for some. Um, actually no, liquor's fine. Actually now I think about it. Oh, let me change this. Actually, this doesn't need to be in here. Um, let me see what we can use. There we go. Okay. So, with clone, all right, it basically copies the last card you used, all right? So, li oh, damn it, excuse me. So literally, if you use energy booster firearms on any of these three weapons, you're going to be lowering the cost by two, okay? And so, whenever that happens, let's say you overdid it on air cannon, okay? You didn't really need to use this for air cannon, but you did anyway, alright? And so, instead of making it go from... Because it doesn't go past zero whenever you're lowering an item that's cost more than one. All right, but the game does recognize it as a zero, though, if you do use it that way. So if you do it that way, so let's say you use this, then you're using air cannon, you get done with air cannon, and then you have a clone, it'll basically make that card instead cost one point instead of two, instead of increasing to two. So, just remember that clone with guns is not bad at all, especially with turrets, actually. Because if you go over here to high cal turrets and all that, and if you have instead of mag expansion firearm efficiency, <clears throat> so what you can do as well is maybe instead of uh, infectious tough zombie you have let's say you have another effect card like discount okay it, it decreases cost of cards in in your hand by one but only through that camera though uh, so anyway <coughs> you have uh, efficiency mod for firearms which lowers the cost by one already all right automatically whenever any firearm cards are in your hand <clears throat> so you would have to do so and you already have firearm efficiency for your, one of your passive skills <clears throat> oh, wow excuse me anyway so you'll be lowering it by two already if you have this if you have this in your hand okay so that's two now if you use this that's two more let's say you're in area two already or area three okay and your machine guns cost six well if you have this and your passive out it'll be costing four instead and then all you have to do is, is use firearm uh, energy booster which lowers it by two more so now those will actually cost two instead and if you use discount, it'll cost one. And that's a big game changer right there. The only problem that I see with that, though, is that then I don't think you'll be able to use, uh, like, probably an extra gun in your deck. Because if you're doing it like that, you might as well just switch machine gun out for, let's say, a... Uh, <clears throat> like let's say for maybe in a high explosive landmine or something you know but like you're already lowering the cost of, of all this by a lot like here's two three four and then you have your passive skill firearm efficiency which does one more so that's five okay and there's not that many firearms that you need to lower less than five anyway like four at the most because 
most firearms are four, except for two of them, and that's only for Nikolai. The other, because the other two are actually only for Nikolai, for area two and three only. All right. So, and those are six. Those are six points. So, what you can do, because. I mean, like I said, I found a really good balance with this deck here. This actually works for me, at least. Because I got one, and I got... I got uh, this for one, and I got this for two. I can lower this down to one. I can lower this to one. I can lower this to one. Alright? And then all I need to do is protect my cams. Put a couple tracking mines because they don't know what I'm actually going to be. If it's a explosive mine or what, you know. So they don't know until they get hit by it or until they shoot it. All right, and it does uh, make them take increased damage, so that's a very big plus as well. Uh, so you can use that with machine gun, with the mobilizing rounds, air cannon, all this other stuff. And you can easily just manipulate the battle, manipulate the uh, area, all right. And this is pretty much that I've been running here, which is for my bioweapon nemesis. I've been running relentless. Basic, relentless. It basically shortens nemesis cooldown whenever survivors are tracked or defeated and this does stack on both of them alright so literally what the survivors being tracked okay that's not just like how many that are tracked that's more towards the duration of the tracking so the longer they're tracked the less cooldown nemesis will have now for defeated that's whenever they're already crawling on the ground and you know the, very slowly you know that's that's when they're defeated and that does stack as well whenever you do knock people down and defeat them so remember that so basically Nikolai likes to confirm the kills while also um, being able to know where the survivors are at because in the story that's literally what Nikolai does a lot because he was hired from Umbrella as uh, as a UBCN, but uh, b wait, wait, but he had a different objective from Umbrella as well. Basically, in his squad, there was only two monitors. Okay, monitors are basically the types of people that get paid. Uh, from Umbrella to pretty much monitor the situations that's been happening alright so they're basically collecting data not only on the zombies but they're also collecting data on uh, on the BOWs as well the like let's say the nemesis alright or the tyrants or just anything like that they're collecting all this data just so they can so they can you know get paid because that's what they were paid to do and to me this actually w complements Nikolai because that's literally what he does he he makes sure he does his job he ha he has a you know military training background somewhat uh, he has firearms training and all that, you know. Um, and he's a monitor. He tracks things. You know, he makes sure nothing gets past his sight. That's that literally works with Nikolai, in my opinion. And and this just complements him, especially with Nemesis too, because in Resident Evil Three. Nikolai was such an asshole to, to you, or to Jill, I mean. And yet, he's like, I, I'm gonna film this fight between Jill Valentine and the Nemesis. And then I'm gonna sell it on the black market. 
It's like, you know how much money I will get paid for this? It's like, damn. And honestly, for his ultimate nemesis, this is perfect. Wait, wait. Let's go on and move to the next ability, which is Predator. Alright? Now, there's two different variants for Predator. There's tracking rounds, and then there's Blood Trail. Blood Trail is basically whenever... It automatically tracks survivors whenever they're less than 75% health. Okay, that's a given right there. And that's actually a really good skill as well. So, that is really good. Um, but if you're just starting out and everything... Tracking rounds is a must, especially if you're gonna go for relentless. Tracking rounds, tracking rounds, tracking rounds. The more you fire it s at a survivor, the longer they're gonna be tracked, pretty much. So with a machine gun, it's gonna be amazing right there. I. Wait, anyway, I almost forgot. If you go back to bioweapon nemesis all right and for his other variant I forgot to mention this for stars it already does automatic tracking already whenever he spawns and whenever you're controlling nemesis as well uh, it also shortens the accelerate cooldown and the accelerate cooldown is his big yell and whenever he does yell he actually runs right at you and, and it is just amazing on how they did that wait wait let's go ahead and move on um okay let's make sure we keep relentless track notes okay now for the other one the fi final one right here firearm specialist okay you can either make his firearms cost one less we already talked about that already so we're not going to go into that again and then finally mag expansion this is a must okay this right here is a must for Nikolai if you're gonna be a complete asshole to the survivors and actually do things to where it works in your favor mag expansion mag expansion mag expansion it is completely worth it trust me if you go to your deck here like, or at least if you go to my deck here that I have deck one okay this is what I've been using this whole time and I have not lost one game yet with Nikolai with just this deck okay you can go ahead and test it out you can try it out uh, the thing is though before I actually switched um, to efficiency mod firearms I did use uh, generator mod small because the only thing about Nikolai is that one of his big weaknesses is his bioenergy. All right, his recharge speed, I believe, is like one of the lowest ones. I think it's like literally under Alex. So that's one thing that Nikolai suffers in is using, or is his bioenergy uh, recharge rate. I could kind of understand that, but. If you're just going to be using miniature reactor, you should be fine, pretty much. As long as you, you know, go to doors, go to cam, uh, go to, uh, y you know, go to cams, get on uh, locked doors, and, um, you know, use, like, let's say the lifts in area 3 or whatever, or maybe using uh, some lights and stuff, you'll be getting it pretty quick. And you'll even get more, I believe, if you do a lot of damage to um, survivors as well. I think if even if you down them too, I think you'll get like I think maybe a little bit of a bonus bioenergy boost, but I don't I don't really know. Okay. Uh well, anyway, like I was saying though. Um instead of using generator mod small all right, which increases your binary energy recharge speed just slightly. So that combined with miniature reactor is actually really good. Um, it says right now I'm not really feeling it with Nikolai uh, for generator mod small, but 
Generator mod small actually does work wonders with Spencer though, but we'll get into that in a bit, okay? So right now, I've been using efficiency mod firearms. All right, this will this lowers the cost of my firearms by one whenever I have uh, this in my hand. Okay, whenever I have efficiency mod firearms in my hand, it lowers the cost of all my firearms by one. So air cannons one, immobilizing rounds is two. And machine gun is three. That's pretty much what it's going to be. And, uh, unless you're going to be using efficiency booster firearms, then that lowers the cost of firearms by two. Alright. So this machine gun literally will become one. Immobilizing rounds will be one. And air cannon will still be one. And another thing you can do as well is let's say. Let's say instead of tracking mine, all right. Let's say you want to be more of an asshole and you want to use clone, all right. Now what you can do with this is you use this, you use firearms. Then let's say uh, you use uh, air cannon, okay. You shoot it once. Uh, they're starting to get back up. You shoot it again. The reason why you're going to be shooting again is because of mag expansion. Mag expansion is so useful for Nikolai. It is so useful for air cannons. It is so very useful for immobilizing rounds. It literally not only lowers the time uh, even more, but it it may it helps waste the time on the clock as well. I I believe it'll waste at least um, maybe 10 seconds if the if they're stuck but that depends though it really depends on um, like how fast they're tapping you know to get out of it and then if your next card is clone after that you can just use immobilizing rounds again because I believe it'll only cost one because Technically, the game is saying it's zero, but the most it will ever cost is one if you use firearms, be uh, energy booster before this, along with efficiency mod firearms. So remember, you're loading it by three. This technically is zero, but it stays at one. You use it, uh, you use both shots, you lower, the, you lower the time really well, you use clone. This basically clones immobilizing rounds, but it's also going to be one. So literally, you're spending two, uh, two bio energy for four shots. That is insane, with Nikolai. All right, that's insane. But for me right now, I don't. The reason why I don't use clone. Is because I already have three other effect cards here. Alright, that's the only reason. Because I don't want to go overboard and use an extra one. So, as of right now, I'm just using tracking mine. Because that actually helps me uh, not only track the survivors. But it also helps me uh, with my firearms on making them take additional damage by 20%. Uh, well, anyway, another thing. Uh, what was I saying again? Damn it. Um... Wait, wait. I feel like this right here. Ugh. Damn it. Excuse me. Alright. Wait, wait. I feel like this right here in my deck is balanced. Alright. Well, balanced in a perspective to where creatures, traps, um, guns, uh, effect cards, and, you know, your mod card. Because, honestly, mod cards, I would say you only need one. Unless you're using Spencer, then you might need to use two. Okay? Alright, now let's get to the equipment here. Alright? So, with the equipment, we have, we're using Fuse 3, Fuse 1, Miniature Reactor, and Shock Absorbers 3. 
Fuse 3 and 1 is going to be basically our... Basically our tools to keep our cameras more durable with extra health and everything like that. Alright. So we could take more shots from EMP rounds, but it's still good. But the EMP rounds are still going to do a shit ton of damage. So, so you don't want to use it too much like that. Now, if it's somebody that's just using a normal Matilda, it'll take like at least half a mag for three and one. All right, it'll take about half a mag for for them to actually knock it out. All right, miniature reactor. This just helps us with our bio energy speed, uh, our recharge speed. So this is going to be very useful, especially for area 2 and 3. And, and a little bit of 1 as well. A little bit of 1, but it just depends on how the t how the survivors are going to be um, working together and all that. But if you do hide the supply zombie, alright, like if they don't get the supply zombie, uh before it goes away then you'll actually get the um, a mod card okay it's gonna be it's called efficiency mod um, high I think or uh, reach hold on let me try to remember what it's called it's called no it's not efficiency mod it's a uh, generator mod high okay it's basically generator mod small but instead of slightly increasing your recharge rate for your bioenergy it's going to greatly increase your bioenergy recharge rate so greatly and moderately from your miniature reactor it's gonna be amazing when you have both of those in your hand all right that's literally gonna be a game changer with Nikolai so if you have that and you're holding it in area two and three you're possibly not gonna lose after that alright but I will say this though for Nikolai I do believe another thing about his weaknesses um, right before we talk about his counters for the survivors the maps weaknesses I believe Nikolai has are casino let me let me go over here real quick I feel like casino would be the only one that would be his main weakness I mean research facility is actually really good for Nikolai as well but at the same time area 3 is this kind of okay at the most now, what maps that Nikolai is actually very strong on is Abandoned Park and Downtown. Those are the two maps that he is very strong on. Like, literally, he can... There are so, so many cams that can, like, like go in two different 90-degree 90 er 90 areas, you know? And he can easily put turrets on them both and just not really have to do much because as soon as he does that locks some doors and then just calls nemesis it's pretty much game over at this point all right um the only reason why i say that most masterminds are usually weak on casino except for daniel and maybe annette the only reason is because area three is more survivor um, I'm trying to think of the word for it. Wow. Um, it's more, uh, uh, it's more survivor favored, if you will. All right. That's pretty much what casino is. Area three, it's more favored towards the survivors of actually winning the game. Even though the master, let's say, mas let's say you're using uh alex or daniel or somebody okay honestly alex would not be bad in casino but she does have some weaknesses in here on casino wait wait um like i was saying though 
Area 3 needs a rework, in my opinion, for a casino. Just because of the slot machine. That slot machine, I believe you, you should only use it one time. And I believe you should not get any... No, no, no. If you do get a special weapon in the slot machine on Area 3 for Casino, you then there should be no reason to have a supply zombie spawning in Area 3. That is my opinion right there. Alright. Only one weapon, one spin, and you get to choose who gets to take the weapon. Alright. That's it. Because... The way that they have it now is Jan can basically buy everything. Alright, she can buy everybody a fucking special weapon pretty much. And then go roll on the fucking uh, slot machine for Area 3. Yeah, that that's a that's a no-go right there in my book. Okay, that is just way too much survivor favored in Area 3 for Casino. This is why I say they need to rework it. And another thing too, they need to add some light switches for Area 3 in Casino as well. Alright, they really need to do that because the only thing that you can interact with on Casino is the, um, is the doors. Literally only the doors and that takes way too long to interact with. If you're if you just closed one already, it's way too long to interact with with other ones because of the cooldown on them. Now, if you're using the one equipment where you're literally lowering the cooldown of the EIS, then that's something completely different. But it would also be, in my opinion, a bit of a waste of using those. I I could understand the third one, like if you're using it with Spencer or something. I can understand that, but most of it is just a waste if you're going to use all three. Alright. Oh, wait, wait. This is pretty much my Nikolai build here anyway. And I hope you guys can actually try it out. Because... I really do enjoy this one alright so and if you guys like it as well if you guys are actually uh, starting to get used to everything like the guns and stuff because it took me a quite a bit to actually get used to the guns the only thing about the guns that I'm having a little problem with is just the recoil a little bit now Cause, but I can pretty much manage with the because um, you kinda gotta like aim it to where like sort of like right in front of them in a way whenever they're moving that's pretty much where you gotta aim it on is when they're moving in front of like pretty much aim it right in front of them pretty much just like the travel time with any other gun and all that stuff okay so same thing pretty much but just slightly different all right well that's about it for that uh whoops oh shoot i accidentally hit my playstation button my bad, my main menu button. Um, let's see. I think we'll do one more game. Alright. We'll do one more game. Just so I can show you guys. Uh, what Nikolai can do. Alright. I'll definitely show you guys that. Sorry about that. I'm just looking at, uh... I'm just trying to... I'm just looking at some messages right now. Alright, let's go ahead and start the match. And... 
this will be our last match right here for for a bit um because after this i'm gonna go ahead and uh get something to eat we're gonna take a good long good break all right we're gonna take an hour break so we can have some food and all that stuff all right uh get some drinks all that stuff we'll take an hour break but uh, after this game, all right? Because I need to show you guys what this Nikolai build is all about. All right, let's just hope it's. Oh, never mind. We're not gonna use Nikolai because it's casino. You know what? Screw it. We're using Nikolai in casino. All right, let's go ahead and do that then. My phone's dying. Hold on a second. Okay. Alrighty, let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Okay, they have a rank 14 Sam, a rank 17 January, rank 38 Valerie, and a rank 36 Martin. Alrighty, I'm pretty sure the Martin's gonna be a bit of a pain for us. The Valerie might be a bit of a pain too, but I don't know. Jan, uh, rank 17. I don't think she's gonna be doing too much, except for just you know making our gun cost more. They always so fulfill contracts. You are all as good really, as did. We don't really need to worry about it too much. Stand still, and I will end the pain for you! Oh, you have found my little toy! <laughs> but do not expect to activate it so easily! I hate you. Good. You can move to the more dangerous toys now. You found that? <laughs> what amateur put it there? Will be happy with the fear you feel. Be they afraid, didn't get the young ones. Monkey, which is good. So I'm happy with that. Not a problem for me. Oh, yeah, that's 
dealing a lot of damage. Ah, the old fashioned methods. They are the best. Cannot run away so easily. The guard's key is yours. Take it, and I will kill you with my next toy instead. Bitch, Martin, I swear to God, I'm about to fucking kill you. Oh, hell no. Oh my god, what? Why do you. I hate my people. No, you're not doing that. Oh my god, I hate this team so much. It's so cancer. I will still find you. Why do you have that? Holy shit. Oh my god, dude, this is why I, I keep saying January needs a nerf. My this is the exact says reason. There are too many of you in number. Don't worry, I will change. so much dude january needs a nerf in my opinion all right i do not know how you are still alive but it will not last much longer can i get to my other camps that i have like what the fuck
The Nemesis will end this for you. How did you hit me with that when I'm so far away? I hate this team comp we're going against. They're just so bitchy. My client wishes you to suffer. I care not, but your success amuses God, me. Come on, hurry the fuck up, Jad. Get the fuck off my shit. Now I have everything. Run, run if you can. You should stop now. Where's my liquors? Shit. Mindless killers. These are the weapons of tomorrow. in your skull. It will be over faster. Dude, I swear to god January should not be able to buy anything change my fucking mind dude Never mind see that is the comp that is literally One person that can fucking counter me and that's a January January on casino is overpowered in my opinion All right, I'll that be back This is why I keep saying January needs a nerf I'm about to fucking put that as a fucking hashtag. Hashtag nerf January. That's literally what I'm about to fucking put to Capcom. Like, to their fucking... Like, everything. <sighs> January should not be able to buy special weapons. Because literally... Special weapons and using the slot machine which gives you special weapons and a supply zombie that also gives you special weapons Yeah, that's overpowered right there. You don't need all those guns You don't need all of that just to win area 3 of casino literally all you need to do to win area 3 of casino is just fucking 
really just do a little bit of something, and that's it. Because, literally, it's Survivor f fucking, um... Uh, it's Survivor favored in Area 3 for Casino. That's literally the only reason. Well, wait, I'm going to go ahead and head off right now, everyone. Uh... I'm gonna take a good long, good break right now. Get some food and everything. All right, and I will be back with more for you uh, later on today. All right, I will be back on around uh, 6:30, but I will be on Twitch instead. So I'll be on Twitch around 6:30 or so. Uh. Pacific Standard Time, so that's around 9.30 Eastern. And so, yep, that's pretty much about it. I hope you guys enjoy what we have here. Uh, I'm pretty, And also, you know, sorry for the ranting right there, but this is just how I feel. That's just everything that I... You know, that this is how I feel about this game, pretty much. January needs a nerve. Jill needs a nerf, EMP rounds need a nerf, and Matilda needs a little bit more of a nerf. Alright. I just hope we can get that going. Hashtag uh, nerf January. Or just hashtag nerf Jan and Jill. You know, either one of those will be fine. But anyway, thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you.